Greetings on Thursday, August 17 from Snake Mountain Boat Works. Look at that, another milestone, 1959 17-foot Chris Craft Sportsman. The decks are nearly ready for bleaching, staining and varnishing, but more exciting is that we have provisionally installed the seating. Well, I'll just hand it over to RJ. Uh, he and John have made some really significant strides. Well, we uh, sanded around, John sanded around the inside of the uh, gunnels here and around the seating, got that all stained and sealed. So we didn't have to work or worry about um, staining that at the same time we did everything else that would already be done. Um, but we just installed ceilings into this boat. There was some evidence that there was ceilings of some sort. Every rib had a screw hole about every four to six inches, um, which was kind of weird because if you had boards like this, you have a set of screws that are wider and then two that are closer. And there was only one every six inches on the old frame. So it almost appeared like there was plywood in here, ceilings at one point, or yeah, they would wide boards maybe, I don't know. Yeah, uh, the, the ceilings were an option. This is a deluxe model, so it really wants to have the ceilings. And as you can see, it dresses up the interior markedly. Uh, the seats are sitting in place because once we put the ceilings on, of course, the interior is narrower by almost half an inch. So John and RJ had to adjust the seat base. Actually, in the back here, on this, on these particular seat bottoms, they actually ran into past the frames and they went right up to the edge of the bolt so they were about three inches too wide on each side. They had a little notch right at this distance where a trim board set into the seat base and it ran up into those seat bases up front and there was a little notch so we cut that off right at that notch and they fit right in here. But we'll put a little trim board along the very bottom of the ceilings, right? Where it meets the floor? You don't usually. You don't. This one? Okay. Once and you get the flooring in there, it basically will cover that's right. that, that gap. And then we discovered a problem with the uh, helm station seat back. Which a lot of times we actually have to peel these off, peel the finish, the vinyl off, and remake these or cut them down because a lot of times if when once you install the ceilings, they're actually a half inch on each side narrower or a half inch total depending on how thick your ceilings are. But um, these ones actually fit in there really decent. So we won't have to shorten them at all. Bottom. But this piece of plywood sits right on the floor. And we noticed that it's been wicking when we looked water. at it, water is wicked up in here. And it's actually delaminated it all the way up into here. And it's working its way up the sides too. But down here the plywood's well over an inch thick as to where this is only three quarter inch plywood. Causing a dry rot problem in the plywood itself between the layers. And to try to fix this piece to have it to save this piece is, I think, a lot more work than just making it new. Well, and you ain't gonna, it's gonna continue to rot. That's right. And I think we'll address that in the future because you see on this boat that seat back sits right on the floor. Uh, I I think if we were to put a piece of trim wood across right. and set that down on it. Right. A lot of boats have a four inch mahogany board 
that goes to the back of the seat frame that runs across and then this sits down on that so it doesn't wick up in your plywood but this model well you realize if we're doing like that, that piece of trim if we do that piece of trim we may get away with cutting off the bottom of that plywood yeah but we'll have to see how far up in the dry rock is up in the plywood all right well i guess the next Order of business then is to pull that back seat back out and trim it off and see if we can see if we can save it by by putting what really should be there a, 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 a trim board or baseboard whatever you want to call it uh, screwed down to the floor and running across but I think you'll have to agree that she's beginning to look like a crisscraft. So that's our update on the 1959 17-foot Chris Craft Deluxe Sportsman for Thursday, February 17. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.